Hi, I'm Matt Markham, Captain with the Columbia Heights Police Department. Today we're going to be talking about the bowler wrap. Uh, the Columbia Heights Police Department just purchased eight new bowler wraps, which are going to be another less lethal option for our officers to use. Uh, the bowler wrap is similar to the taser, but with some differences. Uh, they're both going to be in yellow, so all of our less lethal equipment that our officers carry are now in yellow. The big difference between the taser and the bowler wrap is the bowler wrap uses a blank cartridge to fire the wrap from these cartridges that are loaded into it. With that comes the sound of a, of a gun firing. And so our training and our implementation of this equipment will be very important to make sure that officers are familiar with it and follow our new procedures that are in place for this. Our use of force instructors are going to be trained as instructors on the bowler app on February 9th. After that, they will train all of our patrol staff in the police department over the next coming months, hopefully having all the bowler apps on the street by early March. The bowler app uh, training will consist of about four hours to include a classroom portion, a written test that the officers will have to pass, and also practical exercises. And next you'll see a WCCO video on the Virginia Police Department deploying a bowler app, followed by Chief Austin uh, firing the bowler app at myself. Sit down. You're going to get bowler app if you don't sit down. On November 8th, the hospital in Virginia called police to say they were concerned about a patient who had escaped a mental health hole. Sit down or you're oh. going to get bowler. When the man doesn't comply, the officer shoots him with sit. a bowler wrap. Bowler, bowler, bowler. It's an eight foot long Kevlar cord that wraps around the man's arms in a non-lethal way, allowing officers to safely handcuff him and get him back to the hospital. Take a scissors afterwards, basically cut off the Kevlar cord that wraps around and they, like I said, got the individual unharmed, unscathed up to where they needed to get him help. Nicole Young Madsen is the police chief in Virginia. She bought the restraint device a year ago. The cord is shot when the officer is about 10 to 25 feet away from someone. It has hooks on each end and comes out of the device at about 640 feet a second. It works. There's no doubt about it. Chief Madsen likes that there is minimal use of force. Her department is now one of 15 in the state using bowler wraps. No, we bowl at them. While it won't work in every situation, Chief Madsen likes that it doesn't rely on pain for compliance. Everybody goes home safe, unharmed. It's, like I said, minimal pain compliance, minimal injury. It's just, it's, yes, it's a, it's a if you want to say, another tool that I, I feel law enforcement should, every officer should have one on their duty belt. John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. If it will, we're going I'm good. Drop that thing down. Yeah.